Hello, welcome to the Mark Chenard Show, the cybersecurity show. So apparently the Linux binary support is a nightmare and I'm going to break it down in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the key challenges are the dependency nightmare. So Linux binaries rely on shared libraries which are not bundled with the application. So users must install these libraries manually leading to dependency issues when versions mismatch or libraries are unavailable. Number two is the distribution fragmentation. So unlike other operating systems, Linux distributions vary significantly in their library versions, file system layouts and you know package management systems so a binary that works on one distribution may fail on another due to these differences you have the giblibs the gib the glibc compatibility the gnuc library right the glibc a critical system library often breaks compatibility applications linked against newer glibc versions may not run on system without older versions so forcing developers to maintain build environments for the oldest supported distributions next we have the lack of file metadata right line you know linux binaries lack standardized metadata like the icons making it harder for users to identify and execute them easily compared to other platforms now with all this being said here are the proposed solutions let me know in the comment section if you you know agree with these solutions or if you think that these are trash solutions so we have unified standards right establishing stricter standards for library compatibility and file system layouts across distributions could simplify binary support the next one they're proposing is the minimal libc so some suggest using a minimal libc maintained by the kernel team to reduce reliance on jib libc for system calls the improved uh, containerization right enhancing tools like you know, flat pack to better handle system level interactions without sacrificing performance could mitigate compatibility issues. More on that a little bit later. We have kernel level improvements, right? Maintaining strong kernel policies against breaking user space could help preserve binary compatibility at the core level. So despite its flexibility and power, Linux's fragmented ecosystem makes binary support challenging for developers and frustrating for users so addressing these issues require both technical innovation and community collaboration across distributions now remember what we talked about right flat pack and you know basically app image right they're containerized solutions uh but they can help and they can help by self-contained environments so both both uh flat pack and app image package applications along with their required dependencies right creating a self-contained runtime environment this reduces reliance on the host systems library versions mitigating issues caused by library mismatches or missing dependencies there's the isolation from host systems so these solutions use linux features like namespaces and you know truths quotes whatever you want to call it to isolate applications from the host system this ensures that the application runs in a controlled environment, minimizing conflicts with the underlying system. We have cross distribution compatibility. So by bundling dependencies, these tools allow applications to run on various Linux distributions without modification, addressing the fragmentation problem inherent in Linux ecosystems. We have runtime runtime updates. So Flatpak uses shared runtimes that can be updated independently of the application reducing duplication of common libraries across apps while keeping them up to date now here are the challenges and limitations okay the system library dependencies so some libraries such as graphic you know graphics drivers like opengl Vulkan, cannot be bundled due to their dependency on kernel mod uh, modules or hardware specific configurations so applications must rely on pass through techniques to access these system libraries which can introduce runtime overhead there is an increased complexity too right the isolation mechanisms require additional layers of abstraction the xdg right or you know the desktop portal for accessing system features adding complexity and sometimes making applications feel disconnected from the user's environment there's security concerns right so while sandboxing improves security you know vulnerabilities in bundled libraries may persist longer than those managed by system package managers as updates must be explicitly provided by the application maintainer 
there's a performance overhead so the containerization right containerization process can introduce performance overhead compared to running native binaries directly on the host system we have size of application so bundling dependencies increases the size of application packages which can be inefficient compared to using shared system libraries so that is what i have for you today if you are educated, entertained, and you want more videos like this, more breakdowns like this, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. If you are educated, you are entertained, you want more videos like this, let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.